Hey and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial we will take a closer look at the yes no parameter and controlling the visibility of an object. I will build and further develop on the family I created in my introduction family video. Our next step for our concrete block is to incorporate water holes to allow proper drainage. As you can see on our polysafe barrier and blocks we want these holes to be incorporated. These holes won't be parametric as the individual size remain constant, but we do need the ability to adjust the distance between them. And this will be a parametric value. Moreover, our primary object in this video is to create a yes no parameter that grants us the ability to activate or deactivate these holes at will. We will have the flexibility to toggle this feature on and off as needed. To begin we will design uh, a rectangular holes using void extrusion. However, before diving into that, let's follow the steps outlined in our introduction video where we set up our skeleton brain and muscle. So let's go into our family. Here we are in the 3D view. First thing we go is to go to an elevation view, front view. We set up our ref planes. These holes will have, an, have a fixed and equal distance from the center line of the concrete block. To achieve this, we will use the AQ parameter which evenly moves the elements across the center line. Our parameter is this one. So now we have set up uh, our skeleton and our muscle. We move on to our brain to create the parameter that will control these holes. We go to a new parameter. First one is the distance between the holes. We make it instance and a dimension. OK. Next one is our yes no parameter. And the data type is yes no and instance. We would like to have this also in the dimension header. We press OK. And as you can see, this is the yes no parameter and we can toggle it on and off. What I intend to achieve is this. When the parameter is checked, the holes will become visible and our concrete block will be size B. Size B. When the parameter is unchecked, the concrete block will revert to say size A. Simply put, it acts as a switch for having holes or no holes for the water drainage. We move down those down the hierarchy because they will not likely be used as much as height, length and width uh, from the end user. We choose this muscle dimension line and assign our distance holes. We do a little flexing to see if it's correct. That seems to work. Perfect. Next one, we create our geometry. We will be using a void extrusion found here and it's placed in the front elevation. Just this rectangular Yeah, roughly that, yeah, let's say 150 and 60 is okay. We press OK. We move it to our RF planes. We align it and we copy another one over here. We again move it and we align it. We go to our front uh, 3D view. So, as of now, 
the void is not connected to our brain. We can see it here. It cuts geometry, and we see it's not cutting. We turn it on. It's cutting, but we want it to do that with this parameter. As of now, it won't do anything. We need to connect it to our brain. Our goal is to establish a connection between the parameter, this parameter, and our brain parameter. So this parameter here, wants to connect it to this one. As of now, there is no connection. thing we do is you notice this little button associate family parameter we click it here we see we have one option none two options none and holes the holes is the parameter we created in our control center we click holes as you can see this is now locked we can't change it here anymore we need to go to our control center to change it. So let's flex it. We press yes, apply, no, apply, and it works just like we wanted. We do some more. We do some more uh, flexing. Let's do the distance. That seems to work. Yes, with okay. So here, have something happened. The, the connection have been lost. We go again to the ref planes. We align. We align our geometry to our ref planes with. That's good. That is why flexing is good. We can test the model to see if it works. We again test it to see if the change okay. And with this didn't work last time. Uh, it seems to be working pretty good now. Yes. So now our void drainage works. We load it into yes. Remember, before we load it, we purge. We purge all uh, items in the family that is not used to make our family smaller. Purge one time. We do it one more time. And then we load it into our project. We overwrite our existing version. As you can see, our drainage has been implemented with the parameters in our properties. We check out, it seems to work, we test the distance between, yep, they adjust accordingly, our width, they also adjust accordingly, so our model works perfectly.